Almighty and everlasting Father, Father, we thank you for granting to all the members of this family the fortitude to bear the loss of their father and relative. We also pray you, Father, to continue to grant them the strength to continue to bear the irreparable loss of their father through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the soul of Chief Hilary of Odibe and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. to me. So you've started smoking in this house? Is there any law against anybody smoking in this house? Uh, Henry, at least you show some respect to me and your mother. I mean, excuse me. I owe nobody no apologies, okay? How dare you? How dare you what? Henry, have you lost the senses? Rose, just let him be, please. Just Rose, him. look, let you him. might be my elder sister, but you're definitely not my mother. But at least your mother is here. Is it because father is dead? Harry, you should be ashamed of yourself. Well, that's all right. That's okay. Both of you should sit down. Uh, Rose, please go and sit down. You still feel it. There's still time. We'll see. Harry, that's all right. Now, Henry, let's put attitude by the side. Your mother invited me here for something she said is an issue concerning you. So what is it, Henry? Look, I don't think I owe you the responsibility of such expensive explanation. 
But if you must know, it's time to take over my late father's properties. His accounts, the company, everything. So just get ready for me. Why in such a hurry, Henry? Can't you wait till you graduate? But I've decided... Finish your, 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 your youth service? But I've decided not to wait! Henry, your father's will says that you must get to the My age of... My father's will stipulates that I must be 21 before I take over. For crying out loud, I am 22, mommy. I am 22, so what do you want? But Henry, you are still in school. You are still in school. And that is the point I've been hammering on. Henry here wants to become a school dropout so he can go spend the money that he doesn't even know how his father made. Mama, enough of this nonsense. Oh. Enough of it. Anyway, I've made up my mind not to bother what you people think or say. I don't care. Harry, you will care as long as Mama and I are concerned. Who do you think you are? Rose, just a piece of advice for you. Stay out of my way. Harry, you are the one standing in your own way. As far as Mama and I are concerned, you're not going to have your mischievous way. Probably. Nonsense. We shall see. Such a humble boy when the father was still alive. How come has he become like this? What do you expect? Bad friends? Bad company? Mom, he's just making an empty noise. It's alright. <laughs> Well, that's all right. That's okay. Mm -hmm. right. Hey, madam, honestly, there is little or nothing I can do uh, to stop your son, Henry, from carrying out to him. No, no, no. There must be something you can do. You're the family lawyer. After all, you were the one that drew that uh, a will for my late husband. Uh, you can stop Henry. Listen, listen, madam. Actually, I did. You see, uh, the... I'll give you the assurance that 30% uh, of annual uh, earnings from your late husband's uh, estate and various businesses goes to you and your daughter. In which case, you can stop Henry from taking legal possession of the family business and property. Ah, no, no, I can't. You see, madam, I'm not his attorney. All Henry had to do is to pick up a copy of the will with his lawyer, go to court, get ruling, and guess what he wants? But you can stop it from getting to the court. <laughs> no. Madam, it's already late. What do you mean it's too late? He has done that already. He has? You mean Henry has been to court? Come in. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, madam. I am Barrister Emmanuel Okoye. Uh huh. Legally representing my friend here and my client, Henry of Odibe. Okay. Sit down. Thank you. Can I help you? Uh, yes. We have a court injunction enforcing the content of the will in your possession. This will is drawn on behalf of the late chief of Odile. The content of the will, according to the injunction, takes effect this day. Can I see? Sure. Here. Yeah. Henry. You mean you've gone to this extent already? It will never, ever be well with you. You have gathered firewood with ants in them. And you know what? Those ants are going to crawl all over you. Since you've refused to listen to I, your mother, God be my witness. You shall live to regret this. Hey, come on, Barrister. Are you through? Yes, if you're through, let's leave. Come on. Thank you. Are you through the fire? Um, that tell you girls, I'm now the chief executive, chairman, managing director of Body Bay Group of Companies. Stop! 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 Come on, say my name, baby. Stop! 
visto! Say my name. But what do you deal on? Oh, what do I care what I deal on, baby? You know, ma is just to spend money, you know. I was born to make money and spend money, hey, you know. Mr. Visto! Hi, Yep. I like young guys. I'm so sex to me like you. <laughs> yeah, and I love spending money on fine cuties really? like you, you know. Taking you out, you know. Treating you to a nice time, you know. So, uh, hello. Friend. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> She's alright. I hope you girls are enjoying it, okay? Yeah. We're having fun. Yeah. Alright? So after here we head up. We we'll take, okay? The boys to spoil you girls just a little. Really? <laughs> we stop, we stop! <laughs> yeah, we must stop, baby. <laughs> To know you don't stand in my way, cause you mean shit to me. I do whatever I want, whenever I want, however I want, with whomever I want, cause the word is out of my feet. I'm the big MD, the big MD, see I'm a big, big MD. The word lies on my feature, the word lies on my feature. something Henry this nonsense must stop do you understand me I am putting my foot down return those cars immediately return the cars I bought mom you still think I'm a kid or some I don't know what would you take me for mom how many cars did your father ride when he was alive despite the fact that he made all the money what is the matter with you Henry Look, the matter with me is that I want to be left alone I oh. cannot leave you alone because you're foolishly squandering all the money that your father labored to make for the whole family Look, my father is no more, Mom. I've got to move on. I just get that into your mind or your body. I mean, I'm in charge now. You are in charge? By squandering the money on things like this? Young man, return those cars at once. No. The answer still remains no. Henry! And there's no... You sent for me? Yes, I did. Did you show this to my mother? Yes, I did. It came from a car company. And it was charged to the company's account. Then you bypassed me as a chairman, chief executive of this company and went straight to my mother. Henry, I am like a father to you. You're not my father! I mean, you're just like any other employee here. Okay? The company's output is running under severe financial crisis. 
How do we get money to acquire raw materials? Our competitors are very spare me all that lecture. If the people put in charge of that are not performing, then they are fired. Henry, you'll be the first to be fired. What? What did you just say? All cash acquired or realized goes directly into your account. Henry, you bought two flashy cars and the bills were charged into the company's account at a time we need money to meet up with our customers' demand. You are there spending the money. I called you in here just for one reason. This annoying situation ever comes up or I realize that you're ever spying on me and reporting to my mother. And consider it your last days in this company. To know you don't stand in my way, there's some shit to me. I do whatever I want, whenever, whenever I want, however I want, with whomever I want, because right. the word is out of my feet. I'm the big MD, the big MD. See, I'm the big, big MD. Right. The word is out of my feet. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can we shop here? Yeah, you're free. So, girls, please go ahead and shop on me. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> go on, get dressed on me, okay? This is great. This is lovely. <laughs> this is lovely. I just like your Having the yeah, same feel. That's true. Mm. You must have Thank you. Hey, baby, baby. Keep yeah. this one. Keep this one. Yeah. Oh, come on. Let's let let's let's make it working yeah. now. Okay. Back, back. Hey, baby. Oh. So, how much is my bill? Yes. Oh, baby. That's five thousand. Wow. That's thirty-five thousand naira. Peanuts for me, man. Are you okay? Yay! Are you guys okay? No one's in the middle. Let me just move 20, okay? Mm -hmm. You're a good man. Oh, yeah. see? My name. Good man. Say my name. Say my name. Hello, come on, take your money. Hi. It's yeah. coming. It's coming. I'll go with your money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah say my name again. Hey, hello. Hey. You're back. Said to myself, God, this is sweet. Um, 
Ah, you're sweet. Uh, an attractive girl, and I need to know you. So, what's her name? So, must you know every girl that passes you by? Oh, well, let's not go too far with the question and answers, okay? Um, just pick whatever you want on me. I'll pay. I am not interested, okay? Oh, come on. Maybe you don't know the guy talking to you here, man. Maybe I'm the dawn daddy. Oh, please, baby. I, I'm not interested, okay? I'm paying for what I want to buy. What is it you can understand? It takes you to build the interest, okay? Oh. You, you build the interest. Okay, I just, I'm just making an offer, okay? What is it you cannot understand and I am not interested? Look, honey. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, fine. Take this and I'll pay, okay? I am not interested in your money, okay? I'm paying for myself. Oh, come on. There's no way I'll be here and watch you pay, okay? Oh, come on, honey. Ah, don't ask anybody. I'm the dawn. I know. How much is that? Four, five. Yeah. She didn't pay the clothes. Oh. I just want to be nice to you, you know. You don't know what I can do for you. So, all you do is drive around town, hang around boutiques, buy gifts for any girl that catches your fancy. Is that it? That's not it. Just, um, see, I... Oh, please. I am not interested. Okay? You better get that into your head. Excuse me. Who is this one? Ladies, okay, but I have to rush after something now, okay? You mean you have to rush after that thing? That pigeon? Hey, wait. And leave us in this car waiting like we're fools. Hey. Can you just imagine? Sorry. Wait, who is the girl? I don't think any of you has the right to ask me or question me. Oh. I do whatever I like. I choose whoever I want to go after. I mean, if you guys don't choose my style, then you can just get out. I don't need this shit, Henry. I don't need to you guys have, have the choice. You have the you choice. You are nothing but an arrogant bastard. What did you say? Yes. Let's get out of this place. Yes. Why? Okay, so. Get out. Get, yes. Just get out. Get out of my car, man. Yeah, yeah. You're real stupid, Henry. Let's Thank get you. Out. It's not your fault. I'm the big MD. The big MD. I'm the big, big MD. Yeah, I saw when you arrived, and I thought I should come and see you. Oh yes, what is it? <clears throat> it's as regards the instructions you left with the accountant, that any cash realized henceforth should be paid into your personal account. Yes, and I will personally undertake every expenditure. You got any problem with that? Yes. Because it will slow down our input and output process. How do we procure uh, raw materials or this bus money to personnel if you are not around? Well, if I'm not around, um, everything waits. Everything. That would pose a major problem for us. Considering the nature of business this company undertakes. The, then you are free to go and look for another job elsewhere. I mean, if you're not comfortable with my policies, 
as a new office executive, then I, I wonder what I can do about that. I have worked for your father for 19 years and I've never... I don't care if you founded this company with my late father. My decision is final. By 12 today, I want all cash realized in this office right here on my table. Or you may not work with me even for 19 days. That will be all, Mr. Uncle Wayfriend. Henry, you must listen to my Uncle advice. Ephraim. You should know Uncle. that. I said that should be all for now. If you say so. The other day at a boutique. We have never met, and as a matter of fact, I do not know you. Oh, but you will know me someday. Um, would you mind if I give you a lift? Or... No, I can take care of myself. Oh, look, I promise it will be fun knowing me. You don't know what I'm capable of doing. I mean, a trial will convince you that I'm too nice a guy. To be rejected by a damsel like you. Just get a little closer and you'll like it. Hell no, I am not interested. Excuse me. Hello, hello, hello. Are you really going to pull her like this? Man. By the way, who is that girl? I'm never going to let that girl go anywhere in this town. Me, not in this town. So what do we do? She's not going anywhere. Guys, he who fights and run away. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you. Excuse me, Mama. I want to use the ladies. You need to use which ladies? Which ladies? No, I don't know. Easy, 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 mother. Easy, 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 No, it's okay, it's okay. Henry. Henry wants to kill me. Hey, what's going on? Where are you guys going? I'm sorry we have to leave, man. Wait, what, what? Your mom just embarrassed us now. My mom did what? She embarrassed us. What? Yo, Harry, your mother should know better, you're a big boy. Can you imagine how she came in there and started shouting at all as if you're mad dog? Shit, Lucas. Okay. Damn. All right, guys, just hang on, okay? I'll just go in there and I'll fix it. And we can go on partying, okay? No, that's right, Harry. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Maybe Let's in go, the club. Let's go. I'll meet you. Go hang on, man. Take care of yourself, baby. Baby, baby, go. Let's go. Let's go. Guys, come on. Mama, what did you say to my visitors? So, 
you have decided to turn this house into a hotel for prostitutes. I said, what did you tell my visitors that came to, to, to visit me in my own father's house? Terry, how can you say a thing like that? When you know a visitor could just walk into this house any moment. Harry, this is unreasonable. If father was alive, you won't do this. Oh, I see. Well, hence both of you don't want me to bring in my face into this house again. Then, none of you will stay. You what? wouldn't dare. What? I wouldn't dare. I fucking tell you I dare. Ah! What? Oh I can't touch your sister. I it's not good. I mean, it's not good. I can't. Okay, fine. All right. That's what you want, okay? In my house. Okay, fine. You will see it. Your house indeed. What kind of thing is this? Did he hurt you? Sorry. Enough of this rubbish, okay? Are you still waiting? You both perhaps think I'm joking, right? If any of you ever step this compound again, damn it, I'll kill somebody. You guys don't want me bringing any of my friends here that you don't belong here. Look, take this. If I see any of those witches in this house, you're fired. You sent for me, sir. I have not asked you to sit down, Mr. Oka. Is there anything the matter? I gave a directive for an immediate increase in the prices of all the company's products. But somebody, someone out there gave a counter order. Oh. Actually, I was the one that gave the counter order. And what does that make of me? Incompetent? A fool in my own investment? In my own father's company? From an economic point of view, sir. Don't lecture me economics, Mr. Uka. But excuse me, sir. I don't seem to understand why we should have an increase in the price of our products now without taking due cognizance of the economic implications. Our competitors shall overtake us and we shall be deserted by our customers. And worse still, our turnover... Oh, shut up! You, you can't do that to me, having, after having served your father for 15 years. You have Nonsense. To so many things. You want you to come and teach me how to run my affairs? You see, the implication is that many Get of out. the staff will... Get out! If I ever see Mr. Oka in this premises again, consider your job fired too. just came out now just to tell me that you dismissed him. What happened? And who told you you have the right to question my actions? Henry is the personal manager of this company. I think I should know certain things before they happen. Well, Uncle Ephraim, as you can see, I, I'm not willing to talk. Okay? If you're through, you can. Let's get out. Why do I 
dream of this girl every time. To think of her, she doesn't even know it. A friend of yours was here this morning. He said I should give you this. A friend of mine? Yes. What did he say his name was? He didn't say his name. He said I should give it to you. Uh, I hope I didn't do no wrong. No, no, no. Not at all. Not at all. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. See you. the Mr. Big Stuff of this town. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, honestly, I don't know. See, I I, I, I tried all my big stuff. But she's not budging. Now listen to me. Hello. Since you tried her through your big stuff and she refused, I think the best thing is to try her through a quiet through. And I bet you, by the time you know it, she comes see us. Think about it. I think you're right there. Anyway, I tried something out. I pulled a stunt yesterday. Yeah, I am expecting. So how how did you launch it? Um, flowers. Flowers? You sent her flowers? Why are you talking, man? That is very romantic. Only if she will appreciate it. Um, but all the same, take it coolly and be natural about it. By the time you know it, she's yours. No problem. Let's hope so. Let's hope she listens to me. So, um, today is Friday. What do we do? Clubbing, clubbing now? Yeah, that's true. Now, <laughs> so, uh, how are we going to drink now? Uh, we picked the girls first. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> could you believe that the guy had to fall on the floor in order to pick for forgiveness? What? <laughs> you are lying. And the worst part of it all was that the girl left him there and walked away. <laughs> the guy went mad. <laughs> Just like he did the other day. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, 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 you're trying to tease me. No, I am not. I am not. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> anyway, Sham. Wow. That's her. Yes, you know, guys, keep on this time. Listen, listen. She's not skipping this. You have to play it cool. Don't worry. I'm cool. Relax your body. Relax your body first. No, no. Don't be in a hurry. Breathe in, breathe in. Hi. Hi. Sorry to stop you. Uh, can we have a talk? I am also sorry I did not talk with strangers. Oh, so see, sometimes uh, strangers make the best of friends. But I am not looking for a best friend. Honestly, I won't bore you, okay? Just sit down, hang out with us, share a bottle, a glass, you know? I don't want to sit. I'm not interested. See, I, I know whatever I say now might not interest you, but I really have to say it. I, I, I want to know you. I mean, deep, deep down my heart, I would like to know you. What for? Okay, you want to use me and dump me just like the other girls, and you're not interested. See, I, I'm sorry that most men perhaps have painted a bad image about we real guys too. Perhaps you and it's not always like that, okay? Just that there comes a time or a point in a man's life when you really have to face, I mean, the real situation, face the truth. And the truth? And what kind of truth are you talking about? Well, you see, you, you made quite an impact the very first time I saw you. Okay, and ever since then, I, I find it difficult to get you out of my mind. And 
I really like to know you. You might have good intentions or whatever, but I think I'll be much safer staying away from guys like you. Oh, please, don't, don't go away. Don't, don't go away, please. Um, you don't know how sad I will turn out this night if you walk out on me, please. Guys, close your eyes and you won't feel a thing. And I'm not whom you're looking for. No, give me a chance. Just give me a chance to prove my true intentions. I'll surprise you. Dazzle you. You really have good intentions towards me, right? Exactly. That's what I'm asking. And you want me to be happy? Yes. Then stay away from me. Okay? Stay away from me and stop bothering my life. That will make me happy. Okay? Excuse me. Don't worry with time, I'm sure you'll get out of It's a matter of time. No women are happy with that. Been here for two weeks and I've been dying to get it. Then what are you waiting for? Why don't you just buy it up before someone else does? You're kidding me, aren't you? Why is that kind of money so expensive? This is wonderful, honey. This is beautiful. I can't wait to have it. Okay, let me call the attendant so we'll ask her how much. How much is this? Two five. Two five, two five is much for me. I don't have my day. Let's go. If it's mine, I'll still come back and buy it. I'll come and buy it all. Go. Let's go. Where is it? Helen home? Helen. Excuse me, who are you? Well, uh, I'm her friend. Is she home? Uh, no, no, I don't think she's home. Um, oh, could you please help me give this to her when she comes back? What? Okay, yes. I'm grateful. Huh? Yeah. Uh, when she opens it, she will know who. I believe. I'm safe. Oh, you're safe with me, you're safe with me. But what's the name? Ojo. Ojo, right? Okay, you stay here with which of the flats? Let's stay there, the second floor. Second floor? Yeah. Back or front? Yeah, yeah. Just back flat, yeah. Back flat. Okay, my pleasure, man. You're welcome. Joe, right? Yeah. Take care. All right, man. Bye. <laughs> You're not in to. Yes, come in. Hey, good day, ladies. Oh, Joe. Hello. Oh, oh, no. yeah, fine, thank you. Helen, how are you doing? I'm fine. Yeah, someone just brought this to you. Oh, for me? Yeah. Who's the person? I don't know exactly. He said that by the time you open it, you will know the person. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, it's okay? Yeah, bye. bye. Wow. So, Helen, you have a secret admirer I never told you. Hopefully, let's see.
This is the same outfit we saw at the boutique. Me? Someone bought it and sent them to you? So he's been following me? Mm -hmm. Whoever it is. He had better follow me also because I have a place for him in my heart. He doesn't just want to give up. He doesn't just want to give up. I mean, I don't know what he wants from me. Helen, who is this person you're talking about? You mean, is that the same guy you told me you met at the boutique some time ago? He's the same guy. I mean, he's he's been all over me. I don't know. I don't know what he wants. Helen, with this kind of expensive gift and concern, I think he seems... He seems Whenever he seems, I am not interested. Okay? I am not interested and that is it. Why? Because that is how I want it. I am not just interested and that is final. At least you still have the, the, the gift. I'll take it too. You know I've been looking at it all the time. Uh, sorry, excuse me. May I have a moment with you? May I help you? Certainly. Um, my name is Henry. Henry of Fordibe. Okay. I'd like to talk to you. I mean, have a word with you. Talk to me about what? What? About your friend, Helen. My friend? <laughs> Mr. Man, I don't discuss my friends with strangers. Please. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, I can understand such principles, uh, but um, um, it's rather too important to me, please. I'm not asking you to tell me anything about her, but I'm willing to tell you what I feel about her. Of what use would that be to me or to you? Of course, you think I'm not Helen. I am not. Yeah, um, well, I feel if only I can make you see the sincerity and trust my, uh, my words, maybe might make her listen to me and she might listen to you as her friend let me get this thing straight you mean you want to bribe me with your honest words so i can i can sell my friend over to you for your own bed <laughs> no, it's not going to work it won't work i'm sorry i love her see i might not fully know the true meaning of the word i just used but I know I, I, I feel something very deep for your friend. I, I, I really, truly, truly love her. Just, just, just help me. Well, I, I don't like standing on the road and talking. If you think you still have the time to drive me home, you might meet her in my place. Why not? I'll be really obliged to do that. Can I give you the lift now? not as if I do this all the time. But if it's a way of showing my concern and true feelings for I me mean, towards Helen, I'll do it over and over again. Sorry if I'm being inquisitive here, but can you cook for your wife? I mean, even if you don't have the time and she wants it to like prepare a meal for her, can you do it? Well, um, 
love is caring, sharing, and making sacrifices with um, tolerance. Well, for her, I'll, I'll cook for her. After all, I, I want her to be my wife. <laughs> okay, what about a girlfriend? <laughs> well, in my kitchen, maybe for the fun of it. Okay, but um, in her kitchen. <sighs> oh, I don't think that's ever going to happen. <laughs> that's interesting. You're a nice guy. You're a very nice guy. Thank you. Uh, I still feel like talking. Mm. Is it possible I take you out somewhere for a drink, uh, buy something, you know, treat you? What would chance? I wouldn't mind. Right. And how did he get to know this place? He said he followed you here. I should be asking you that. Edith, what were you doing with him to the extent of following him out? He gave me a lift and that's all! Edith, you are talking about a total stranger. I mean, somebody we don't even know. Facially, he is a total stranger. But Helen, give him a chance. Look at his heart. He does feel something good for you. Helen, don't tell me it's not true. Go ahead. Tell me it's not true. I'm so scared. And I'm so, I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. <sighs> I mean, you know the last relationship I had, you know how disastrous it ended. And now this is somebody else with gifts and homely attention. God, I I'm so scared. I don't know what to make out of this. I just I need baby girl. You can't run away from love. You can't. I know you've had your rough times, but you don't need this heart of stone just because your past relationship turned out a failure. You don't need it. Life must go on. You must learn to, to move on. See, give your heart a chance. Please. Please. You know, the last gift he gave me, I mean, the cloth, really touched me. Moved me so much. I think any man that recognizes a girl's needs and Sees the way that she has it. She'll be some kind of a different guy. Mm -hmm. That reminds me. He gave me your favorite drink. Mm -hmm. My favorite drink? Mm -hmm. How did he know my favorite drink? Because I have never told him. <laughs> he did. You're up to something. Now get me my drink. Okay. Just wait for it. I just hope I'm for you. Stage. Mm -hmm. Let me do this. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't trust me. Wow, this is nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you sure we're on the right track? I'm so scared. Yeah. Give him a chance. No matter how much guys have tried to lie or deceive you in the past, all I want you to know is that I am different. Um, I'm willing to prove that to you. I mean, you need to give me a little time to think it over. Okay, you're a very nice person. But it's just that I want to be sure of what I'm getting into. Oh no. All I'm asking for is just a chance to prove my love to you. Do you know that sometimes in the middle of the night, my soul, 
my soul becomes so restless. I mean, wondering where you could be or what you could be doing. <laughs> you make me laugh. I'm always on my bed in the middle of the night, okay? But I want you to be in my heart in the middle of the night. Then, prove it. Well, um, there's a place I would like to take you to. This is somewhere where all you hear is the sound of my heart beating your love. You know, name it all for you. <laughs> uh, would you want to come? Yes, why not? I mean, if it's worth it. I promise you, it will be worth it. Okay. Right now, close your eyes. Come on, close your eyes. Oh. Okay. I don't like cheats, okay? My eyes are closed, okay? Open your eyes. No matter what you feel, okay? What time do you cheat in class? <laughs> so close your eyes, eyes closed. I love it. That's oh, not just all. Oh, this is wonderful. I love this. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. But damn, we can't sit through the eyes of the Me shy. Touch to us. To our new found love. He's not back yet. I, I don't know where he's gone to. But I'm sure he will soon be home. I got um, the problem is not where he comes. Oh. Yes, Henry. Thank God you are here. We were just discussing about you when you came in. Look, Mr. Ephraim, how many times will I warn you to stop discussing whatever concerns me with my mother? How many times? Okay. I'm sorry. But I've come to inform you that the company is running short of liquid assets. Oh, God. And the board wants you to come and give an account of your reckless spending. You fool. 
How many times will I warn you to stay off my business? To mind your business? How many times? You called me a fool? Yes, that's what you are. How dare you talk to your uncle in that manner? How dare you? Your wish, okay? We'll see who runs my father's company. You or me. We'll see who runs the affair. That boy has become so stupid and arrogant since the father died. The way he talks to the elderly staff as if they are little children. And the worst of it all, he sacked Mr. Oka. Mr. Oka? The man who has contributed so much to the growth of that company. And yet, he has the court to call me a fool. Oh, Uncle Ephraim, I don't know what to say. But you can be rest assured that I'll make sure he pays for everything he has done. I'm leaving. Oh, God. This boy... Jesus Christ. Oh... Yes, good morning, young lady. And what can we do for you? Um, I, I'm looking for Henry. I don't know if he's at home. I don't know if he's at home. Now, listen. This house is not a brothel. Neither is it a hotel. So you prostitutes that roam around aimlessly, like the devil looking for whom to devour, should leave Henry alone. You people have spent and destroyed his life. He can't even think any longer. Now, leave this compound immediately. As I leave... No, wait. Young lady. Before I close my eyes and open, I want you out of this compound now. I know what you think. Get out of my compound now! Useni! Useni! Come and get this, 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 this thing out, out of my compound! Let me leave! I am a little girl now before Madame Ben. Let go! Let go! Mom, let's go. We're already late. I can't understand him. Rubbish. Useni, Mother? did anyone come looking for me? Yes. Now one girl like that, as she come, now him, madam, and auntie Rose, come the Hararam, so tell the girl start to the cry. I even hear. When Rose, they talk, say the girl is a devil. And they come beat them, well, well, who shall come up from the compound? Uh, did she say her name? Yes. But now. Uh, could this girl be. Could she be Helen? Yes, Soga, yes. The girl black, fine, well, well. Helen, I'm sorry about what my mother and my sister did to you. I'm sorry. Henry. Your sister called me a prostitute. She said I was a roaring devil in your life that was seeking to destroy you. Henry, I have never been so humiliated in all my life. I, I know what this is all about. Mayor transferred aggression. Don't worry, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I will explain this to you much more later, okay? Look, I... If, if you have to forgive them, Helen, let it be because of your love for me. I mean, because of the love I have towards you, too. I 
so much Lily. Sudden. I mean, it's barely two months since we met. Oh, come on. Hey, if there's anybody I would like to spend the rest of my life with, you know it's you and nobody else. It's so powerful. I love you so much that I, I want nothing else from you but you being my wife. The mother of my children. I mean, just say yes, and I'll be happy. We, 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 we can live anywhere you choose, oh, just that anywhere. Is, that, is not, that is not the problem. I mean, there are certain things you need to understand. I understand everything, Ellie. It's my mother and my sister, isn't it? Look, don't worry about them. Don't worry. Okay, Henry. If you're actually supposed to get married, just assuming. Yes. What would that make me? Look, don't worry about that. They're never going to see you. I won't let them. Oh, Henry, that is the problem with you. I mean, that is the problem with you. You are at war with your family. Okay, I don't want to be caught in the midst of this. In fact, I think we should, we should take a break for a while. Just let this rest. What did you just say? You have to, you have to sort out your family problems once and for all. I mean, look at you, look at the way you dress. You need to change your mood of dressing, your attitude. Show your family some love. I'm sorry. I Tell my girl that came here to see me. A few home truth. What truth? You, you don't even know her. Did you have to humiliate her like that? Don't raise your voice at me before I put a curse on you. A curse me now. Curse me. Am, am I begging you? Look, you don't even know what she means to me, ma'am. You don't know how much I care about this girl. Is that enough to equate the trauma you're putting this family through? I will wish your father was still alive. Stop it, mom. One life ends for the other to start. It's my time, mom. It's my world. My life. So get out of my way. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Um, see, I, I went to look for you at your friend's place uh, and they said you, you've not been there for days. Yes, that's because I don't stay there. Um, see, about the incidents that occurred the last time at my place, I've taken care of it. I told you I'm the dawn. But you don't sound that convincing. Go to my house anytime you like. Okay, nobody. Nobody has any right to disrespect your person. Because I told you, I'm the dawn. It's my place. Just go home and feel free, okay? I'm sorry I cannot do that, okay? Because I am not fighting with anybody. Before you came, I have things to do. So if you don't mind, I'll leave you. No, Helen, you're not going to move out on me like that.
I'm saying? Uh, I got to work on my fit. Flash your wheels if you like to know You don't stand in my way Cause you mean shit to me I do whatever I want Whenever I want However I want With whomever I want Cause the word is out in my feet I'm the big MD And then I have an arrangement I mean to ensure that what happened the last time Never occurs again Okay In fact I got an apartment somewhere off town Just for the both of us A new apartment? Yes What for? Actually I, I, I intend to move out of my family house You know into a house of my own, you know. Uh, somewhere you can come and relax. You know, feel at home. With nobody harassing you or giving you trouble. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, so what you're trying to tell me now is that you're breaking up with your family. No. I, I, I've only tried to create um, a better environment for us. <laughs> Henry, the only better environment you could create is in your mother's love and respect. I'm really sorry, but I can't come to your new house with you. Oh, Helene, please wait. I mean, what do you want from me? I mean, what haven't I done to make you know I really want you? Why are you punishing me? All I want from you is peace and harmony to reign between you and your family. I mean, it's either that or we call it quits. Oh, no, Helene, please wait. Look, first and foremost, you are more important to me. Look, Helene, we don't know. I don't know how lonely I've been. I mean, it's, these few days you've been away. Please don't do this to me. Henry. Yeah. The Bible said, honor thy parents so that thy days may be long on earth. Excuse me. Henry, wait. Just, are you, are you here all by yourself? I mean, are you just all here by yourself all alone in the house? Yes. Why? No, nothing. I, I was just... I, I overheard you talking about going to visit your your, your friend, um, Mrs. Victoria, at her place today. Hmm. Um... I was wondering if... I was wondering if I could take you there. If you can drop me? Yes. Yes, I've seen him. Hi, boss. What 
have you come here to bother me, Henry? Why can't you just be yourself and let me be? Well, Rose, I actually came to fix an appointment with a friend here and I realized you... It's your closing time and I said, why not? Let me take you home. I can still remember I never asked you to come and pick me up. So, I can find my way home if you don't mind. Rose, you're my sister, okay? I mean, can't I take my sister home? I mean... Me, your sister? Henry, me, your sister. Of course you're my sister. It's like somebody seems to be forgetting something here. Stella, oh, come on, let's Rose. go. Wait, Rose, wait, wait! Rose, see, I'll... I know I might have hurt you terribly in the past, okay? I know I've played with your emotions and played with your mind. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not proud of my actions in the past. In, in front of your friend here, if you so choose, I can go on my knees and tell you to, to forgive me if you want to. Please, if you want me to go down, I'll beg. Please, just begin to see me like your brother again and we we'll one family again. Harry, am I dreaming? You're not just going to stand like this now. You have to go with him. Tell him to bring out the car. I'm already late for this wedding, please. Okay, ah, Mama, why call someone else to take you to a function? Is it your business? Rose, please, go and come to drive. Oh, Mama, um, that won't be necessary. I already washed your car, and I, I, I can do that. Uh, am I not your son anymore? If they've sent you after me, tell them you can't find me, okay? Uh uh, Mom. What is it? Has he also bribed you? My phone, please go and call okay for me. Mom, I. I, I know how you feel. You don't know how I feel, okay? You don't know how I feel. So don't you ever stand there and talk to me about my feelings. You have been nothing but a devil ever since your father died, tearing this whole family apart. Killing me each minute, each day, even after I lost my husband, your father. And you're standing here, telling me you know how I feel. Calling yourself my son? Mommy, I'm sorry. I mean, only God knows I, I, I can't find a better way to say, to say forgive me. I broke your heart. Please forgive me. <laughs> Okay. 
serious. My sister Victoria, I thank God. Can you believe that Henry has changed? Hey, there's no prayer that God doesn't answer. You see, I told you not to bother yourself that time. That he will one day change. I have seen it. I thank you. I mean, you've been a good friend. You were always there encouraging me, advising. I thank you. Rose, 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 please now, Rose, please. Rose, Rose now. What is it now, Henry? Leave me. Auntie Victoria, good afternoon. Auntie Vicky, good afternoon. What is it? Give me the pet now. You know I like the pet. Okay, dance. okay, Henry, wait. You want me to give it to you? We exchange it with the jeans. Is that a deal? Uh huh. Are you sure that's a deal or you're trying yes, to play Yes, go and get it. Go and bring it. Don't kill any hey, fast one. No, I'm waiting for you. Just go and get it. Don't go anywhere. I won't. You see, they now behave as if they are twins. They now move out, come home together. Honestly, I don't know how to begin I'm to thank God. Eh? Yes. I'm happy for you. Honestly, I am. Thank God for you. I wish their yes, father yes, yes, yes. Rose. Mama. Auntie Vicky, where is Rose? <laughs> She's gone. She's gone. She, she's gone. She's gone. Out. Rose is funny. She's very funny. <laughs> Don't worry. She'll be back. So you get her, okay? Where are you? <laughs> Doing some cooking. Hi. You're back. Yes, Mom. Um, Thomas, you're okay? Guess what? What? What's that? I got this for you. For me? Yes. Do you say this is for me? For the first time in your life, you bought me a gift? You... You deserve it. Anything I could help you with? I mean, if you want to buy anything, I could help you buy it. Me? Yes. Uh, no. Uh, well, I mean, yes. Uh, but not to worry. Rose would help me buy whatever I need later. You mean if, as your only son, I choose to do it for you, you would not appreciate? Uh, well, I, I guess I will. Oh, okay. All right, Rose, um, what do I get for you? Well, anything that pleases you will be okay by me. Uh, what surprised me most was that Henry actually came to my office for the first time ever to take me out for lunch. It's not true. Well, can you be that? <laughs> Oh, Rose, my daughter, you know, I cannot believe the way Henry suddenly changed. You you changed. Know? And I thank God for it. At least now your father can rest in peace. Yes, mom, dad can now rest in peace. Hi, mom. Hi, sister Rose. Hi, Henry. You're welcome. How was your day at work today? Our work was great today, mom. Uh, mommy, I have decided to return those two cars I bought with the company's money and channel more money into the company's dwindling economy as to revitalize its productivity. Also, I have called a lawyer and some of our clients. As for the staff, I laid off. Um, some of them are back with me, and I'm still looking for the others. 
You did all this within this short time? Yes, Mom, yes. Can someone tell me what's happening around here? You've been acting strange lately. Oh, Mom, it's still me. I mean, whatever makes you happy, okay? Well, thank you. Um, uh, is there food in this house? Yes, there's food in the kitchen. Oh, yes. Um, least I forget. You'll be accompanying me somewhere this evening, okay? Really? Really. Mm, well, I wouldn't mind. Excuse me. If I'm dreaming, I don't ever want to wake up. Mom, please don't wake up. <laughs> Bruce, this is shock. Um, let me get him something to eat. So are you enjoying the food? Mom, really tastes nice. It's nice, right? Yeah, tasty. Yeah. That's mm. what I cook for um, uh, Mrs. Um, Victoria. Yeah. Oh, how nice. She well, loved it. daughter's party. So, can we? Yeah. Could you repeat before mom what you told me at the beach yesterday? Oh, you have some good news for me. Come on, go ahead. Spill the beans. Come on. <laughs> well, mom, as your only son, I am beginning to think that it would be wise for me to settle down. No. You know, get married and begin to raise a family, I mean, children for, for the house, for you. Are you serious? No, I'm serious. Oh God, I don't believe this. Oh God, may your name be praised. Thank you. You're getting married. I'll tell you something. I want it. No, 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 There's something I really want to talk to you about. Oh, what's that? It's about Helen. Oh, you know, I was actually thinking about her. I was going to ask you to invite her over. I would like to meet her. That's exactly what I was about talking about, Mom. She wouldn't see me, I mean, anymore. I mean, she wouldn't even listen to me. Why? What happened? Mom. She, she needs to be convinced that I, I am in harmony with my family and also that I am really, really a changed person. And besides, she hasn't forgotten the incidents that occurred the last time she came here. Mom, she's really scared of you. She is? Yes. Well, that's not a problem. You know what? You are going to take me to her house to see her. I think I owe her an apology. Wow, oh, wow, that's great. That's great, mom. You just made my day. Yes. Thanks, mom. You're welcome. Let me go upstairs now. Thanks. Take care. Yeah. Sweet mama. Henry. The lead table, mama. Yeah. Oh, God. These children. Well, now that we've been formally introduced, Henry, if you don't mind, can you excuse us for just a minute? We need to talk, woman to woman, okay? All right, Mom. Okay. <sighs> My dear Helen, I'm actually here to tell you that I am sorry. You might not appreciate why I did all those things that I did. Maybe someday when you become a mother, you will appreciate why I did them. But I must not fail to thank you for the good influence you've had on my son, Henry. I mean, you've brought back so much love and happiness into the family. Mama. I didn't do anything. I think all the glory should go to God. I was I was only voicing out my, my feelings 
towards Henry's way of life. You know, when I remember that day I met you in my compound and all the ugly names that I called you, I wonder if you can ever find it in your heart to forgive me. No, ma. You didn't do anything wrong. I think my mother would have done worse things if she was, she was to be in your shoes. It's okay. You know something? I would like you to come to my house any day, any time you feel like. As a matter of fact, I would like you to be a part of my family. I don't want anybody taking away the happiness you've brought back into our lives. Mama, thank you very much. I'm kidding. It's okay, okay? I'm very grateful, Mama. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's all right. Um, let me get you something to drink. Oh, no, no, no. Don't bother about that. Um, you were saying something about your mother. Where is she? She's in the village, man. I'm sorry, my uncle will be here in a moment. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'll be back in one minute. Excuse me. That's all right. Henry! Congratulations. Thank you, sir. You found a nice wife there, you know? Honestly, <laughs> I think she's a lovely girl. Uh, I can't believe lovely. you were able to pick a good wife. Come on, what makes you feel I can't get myself a lovely girl? Considering all those people that... Mm. Ah! <laughs> Hello? Ah! Miss Luca! Madam, Miss Luca. I can't believe my eyes. What are you people doing in my house? Well, we came to see you. Oh, dear. <laughs> what is this, this young man doing here? My son. Uncle, that's the man I told you about. The man you said that will marry you? Yes, sir. Never. It will not happen. This is the boy that put me in this present position. And it's, you are talking of marriage. It will not happen. I said no to that. Uh, Mr. Oka, please, please sit down. I say it will not happen. Please sit down. I don't understand. I can't just let this lady off my mind. Harry, don't bother yourself. I'll talk to Mr. Oka. I know him very well, and I believe that by the time I finish talking with him, you understand. Uncle, please help me. If I miss that girl, I don't think I can. I can go after another lady. Please help me. Let this not bother you, Henry. Huh? I'll talk with him. And I believe I know him very well. By the time I finish with Mr. Oka, you'll have no problem. How do you expect me to accept this marriage? I'll make sure I'll be a hurdle over this situation. And I make sure that my brother does not accept it. Where were you when this stupid, arrogant boy dismissed me from the service without any remuneration? Were you not the personnel manager? And you all kept quiet. Mr. Ka, I was the personnel manager. But the fact is that this boy was also after me. So, I have to save my head. But he has changed. He 
regret all what he did to all those that he sacked. Don't be surprised that he now behaves like his late father, whom you and I served faithfully for so many years. So please, consider him. No, 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 Mr. Ephraim. This stupid, arrogant boy was responsible for my present predicament. And you are talking of marriage. I was dismissed without any remuneration. Martin. That's okay, Mr. Oka. And you let are talking me, of marriage. Let me equally use this opportunity to tell you that you've been called back to work. What? With other fringe benefits. In fact, this had been prepared long before now. But because you moved away from your old house, we couldn't trace you. So please have it. And let me say that I'll be on my way now. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Oka. Yes. But yeah. please consider what I've just discussed with you. Uh, well, I see what I can do. Thank you very much. Okay. If my daughter can influence this arrogant, stupid boy to change his mind and make such a wonderful new turn and apologize to people that he offended, well, it means they are meant to live together. And if God has put them together, who am I to say no? So, Let it be. Uh. <laughs> yes, the darling, you've done so much for my life that I, I can't find word enough to thank you. And I promise you, as long as the light shines, so shall my love shine in your life for the rest of my life. And I will love you for the rest of my life. I love you. I love you too, Henry. Please marry me. When you say that you love me Is it real? Don't catch me. Shining true, shining true, and the mountain, and the valley stop me. I love you, you. I need you with all of my heart. Thank you for everything. Change my life. Give my life a meaning. Shut